Okay, year eight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to understand negative shape use and how identifying the negative shapes can further improve your drawing. Okay, so if I've got this ruler okay, on a page, all right, this ruler is my positive shape. Okay, and everything around the ruler or a hole in between, okay, that is a negative shape. Okay, so the object you're actually drawing, whether that's a ruler, a set of keys, whatever, that is the positive shape. Okay, so if I show you my hand, okay, my hand is the negative, uh, the positive shape. Okay, all of this is positive. All right, it's there, it's real. All right, it's positive, it's smiley, it's happy. It's the shape that you would normally think to draw. But all these gaps, okay, all the way around the edge and in between, okay, that is all negative space. So if I draw okay, around my hand like this, just as a very, very, very quick example, This here is my positive shape. This here is my negative shape. But also all of this space all the way around, that's also the negative shape. Okay. So in the spaghetti spoon, okay, the negative shape is there. Okay. And this is also a negative shape as well. Okay, they're the shapes, again, that you wouldn't think to draw at all. And more often than not, those negative shapes are easier to draw because they are basic geometric shapes. Okay, rather than trying to draw the perfect angle of this shape here. Okay, so we're going to have a go at drawing positive and negative shapes. So what I've got in front of me at the moment is two objects, okay, and I'm going to draw this glass and this spaghetti spoon. Okay, unfortunately you won't be able to see okay, those objects. Now instead of drawing the actual spaghetti spoon, I'm going to draw the lever, alright, of the, um, sorry, the handle of the spaghetti spoon. All right, and because you can't see my full page, okay, I am going to draw myself a box, which is where I'm going to draw my objects. Now you will use your full page. Okay, this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so here's my box. All right, because we can't quite see my full page on this camera. And what I'm going to do right, is I'm only going to draw in the negative shapes. Okay, so I'm going to draw in the gap between right, my glass okay, and the spoon. It's very, very difficult to get your head around. But once you've got your head around it, it makes life a lot easier for when you're drawing. Okay, so this shape here, it's just it's just a triangle. Okay, at the moment, I want you to try and think about proportion. Okay, make sure that the angles of each of these geometric shapes that you're drawing are right. Okay. And it comes, that's the edge of the spoon here. It's very difficult because you don't know what it is that I'm drawing. I'll show you in a second. And then my glass comes around like that. It's going to end up going off the page. Okay, so this here is my tumbler. That's the top of my spaghetti spoon. This is the handle of my spaghetti spoon. 
Okay, and now I'm going to look at the positive shape here between here and here, and I'm going to try and make sure that I get my next negative shape in perfect. And that just goes up like that. So you can see the spaghetti spoon is starting to form. All right, but all I'm drawing is my negative shapes. I'm looking at that shape there, I'm not looking at the positive shape. I'm not looking at the spaghetti spoon. Okay, I'm just going to correct my negative shapes now. Okay. So I can see that this angle is slightly out. That needs to come down a little bit more and around. So I need to get rid of some of that positive shape there. And this one here is actually slightly out as well. Okay, this needs to come down quite a lot more in comparison to my glass. So I'm just starting to correct those a little bit. This swings in a little bit more, so I've not got my negative shape perfect here. Okay, and down. So it looks like, even though I've drawn all right, just my negative shapes, it actually looks like I've drawn the positive shapes because of the way in which I've constructed it, okay? So, okay, now what we're going to do, all right, you've got two objects together and you've drawn the negative shapes only. Okay, we're now going to shade the negative shape in the style of Roy Lichtenstein. All right, so we are not going to touch these positive shapes. So when you're happy, okay, that you have got those shapes in place, okay, this here is the negative. This is the negative, this is the negative, and this is the negative. Okay, so these bits here, the positive shapes, you can leave them as they are, they are going to stay white. And you're going to look at Lichtenstein's work. Right, and you're going to take your time with this. All right, and you're going to look, think, right, well, in this one, I'm just going to do dots. Okay, now, your lesson, is this is going to go over two lessons. Because I do want your negative shapes to be as perfect as you can possibly make them. And I also want them to be um, in the negative shapes to be patterned in a lovely, lovely imaginative way in the style of your artist, Roy Lichtenstein. So remember that these are Bende dots. Okay. And again, you can use your imagination with this. If you want to do your Bende dots in a different coloured pen, maybe you're super organised and you've brought with you felt tips, pencil crayons and so on, okay, please do feel free to use any of your colours. Okay, all I'm doing here okay, is going by the, per, the people or helping the people that have only, only got a biro or a black pen. Okay. So get cracking, have a go, draw in your negative shapes, set yourself up to everyday popular culture items, not your mobile phone, something that you've got in your pencil case, your key fob. Okay, put them together so that there are negative shapes. And I will come around and I will have a little look and just make sure your setup is easy enough for you to draw. And whilst I'm doing that, you can be watching this video if you're waiting for me to come around so that you can see okay, exactly what it is that I want you to do with your Roy Lichtenstein work.